33 dollars <laughs> that's a perfect amount <laughs> I think this is when I look up what uh, I, had to, I had it open. Yeah, this is like a director's commentary or something. It really is. This is a director's <laughs> commentary on a video game. Perfect. I love it. I like this. I like this. Steven, I know we just finished the game, but we did. I went back because we got the crappy ending, which <laughs> I'm kind of sad about that we went through and I did so much and we ended up getting <laughs> the crappy ending. So when you went away, uh, I went and did a lot of the extra stuff, hoping that we could I could facilitate getting the good ending in some capacity. Mm -hmm. So here, um, I ended up running around doing a few things. Uh, one of these things was going to make donations to this box. Which we could have done at any moment. <laughs> this is true. And uh, we kind of did not do that. There was different donation levels that right. if we, uh, once you met those donation requirements, you got things. Uh, and one of those things that I found out was we could have warped to once you got to a site of uh, a bonfire whatever the, the little you know the, the save points are you yeah. could just warp to the next one you could just travel oh, fast travel God. to the next oh, one my God. Okay. yeah didn't find that out till later kind of mad about that one where is padre to tell us to do that? <laughs> yeah yeah but it's a lot it was a lot of money like it was a lot i had to dump a lot of money uh into okay. getting this that's fair that's fair so i guess we needed it for level up and stuff yeah, and I had a lot of money <clears throat> post the final boss, so I was just like, donate it all. Let's see what happens. Um, we do, this place becomes much more interesting to look at once you've donated enough money. As you oh, donate no. <laughs> money. As, as to any temple, I suppose. Yes. <laughs> as you donate your tithings, um, <laughs> things start happening. Which here, if we're watching this currently which i may cut this out but if we're watching this currently uh, i didn't realize you have to leave and come back in for anything to happen uh, i get you i get you so i'm standing here like an idiot going why didn't i get the things do i go back in here oh, oh like a ding dong i don't go i go i do go back i do go back so here we i i knew there was another thing that i had missed again i'm trying to completionist this without involving you too much to have to <laughs> bear through this uh all of this if um, i haven't made it completely clear i am not a completionist by nature <laughs> and honestly i don't have the mental capacity for it i suppose so we did have all the things to give to this tree man tree person i feel burning oil. oil entering my veins as it mixes with the frozen sap i can no longer hear the others only the crunch Well, well then. Mm -hmm. And then he stops answering. Um, because he dies. <laughs> <clears throat> but when you do that, you there's another little side place that we never we never ended up finding. Uh, I found this on my own. Uh, and also, we get a, an item here. Okay. Um, the frozen olive. Don't know what it does. Don't know if it's... In <laughs> to this <Arabic>. day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, dry dried flowers, days, and tears. Which I believe I end up using at some other place here. But we do go down and get another item <clears throat> that was special that if you didn't do that frozen tree man, you don't get this item. Okay. So so why do you know the r rationale besides just like com like raw like percentage complete? for ending difference because i like we completed most of the game i i was there just these specific if, things like we could have gotten the good ending with like a 70 percent complete but if we did the exact ones we needed we would have been fine if we yes yeah, so okay after this um okay so i give the dried flower here and then i believe i get something else here we go. 
So what we missed to get us to the good ending mm -hmm. seemingly was those guilt, uh, the guilt statues to remove your guilt okay. to go do those uh, dungeons. Mm -hmm. And w upon doing those dungeons, I was hoping, fingers crossed, that it would give me the good ending. Okay. And there's three endings total, correct? There is three endings. There's the good bad the good ending, the bad ending, <clears throat> and then the DLC ending. Mm. And do we have the DLC we here? Do, but we can't do it. Because okay, it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I screwed it up. Or so here we're we're you crush the guilt statue you have on uh, one of the pearls or something like that. One of the, an item you have to have on mm. and you go into these little dungeons here and you fight uh -huh. a bunch of enemies and yeah. you win the dungeon. Whip. How many of these were there? Seven. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah. We could have totally been doing those if we had just put on some freaking item we had the item for a really long time yeah, i think I just... padre told us that we had the yeah. item too yeah he gave us the whole Sorry, like, padre. <laughs> things to do and we didn't do it we love you um <laughs> it'll be super helpful for us for uh help for blasphemous too <laughs> wow <laughs> yeah i mean these dungeons are like pretty simple like i essentially yeah walked through just, them. i think it's just more of like a uh because I'm guessing that they're enemies from each area, so it's just kind of like a showcasing of like the fight patterns. The yeah, as as you played. moved from, so I I did them from left to right across the map, mm -hmm. and they got were it. harder to get more difficult as we got to the the right side of the map. Okay, that makes sense. Like the bigger, badder enemies, kind of thing. Yeah, I I I don't think I gave enough like oogling of the aesthetic of this game i really like it um af after i see because i was about to like deep dive into like listening to all the lore and all the explanation of stuff um but then you're like oh we didn't get the ending and i got it and i was like okay i'll wait um but i did listen to like a um historical like reference video about like where the hat came from and like the mm. Yeah. And it tints and like the flagellation and stuff. And I was like, oh, shit. Like, this is a really well, not that it wasn't obviously a well researched game, but like mm. the um, the visuals are just stunning. Um, even more so with context of what they're referencing. Where, yeah, where it's coming from. Absolutely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so every time I went through one of these, whatever that. Uh, I got a sprout, and then that sprout turned into a thorn barb, and then that Briar. one just turned into a th or thorny briar. Like they, they're it's increasing and and, and um, becoming larger as each of these that I go through. This is an interesting way to to play through a game. Like I just play through it, and then we watch me play through it and talk about it. Yeah, I mean we could do that. If we do Dark Souls, we're or any of the Souls games, uh, I have a feeling yeah. I'm going to end up having to do that. Yeah. Explaining a video game to someone who's never played that video game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, like, I can talk about it more now that I'm not actually physically playing. Right, yeah, you're not leaving it all up to me to just... <laughs> to, to, to hold, yeah, to carry don't, the whole don't, thing. Don't get hit, man. Oh, <laughs> let's have this deep conversation. Hold on, I'm playing a video game. <laughs> However, that does lend to some funny moments. Look who it is. <gasps> Wait. The lady that we just yeah, we just wienered. Yeah. Oh, so it gives us another chance to fight this dude? No. Oh. She can kill over. No, I'm just I don't know why I'm waiting. Walk up and talk to them. There you go. The hands <laughs> hidden in the gold of Chrysanthemum's helmet issue the glare of the truth that you must understand. Her faith will never let this light pass. Not even you believed in her. The hands hidden her faith. Okay, we see chastising the, the player. No, okay. Now reveal my agony. Go 
click the button, Nick. <laughs> they are uneasy to see you, the architect of sacrilege, here at the end of this bitter, somber, and desolate path. His Holiness, our Father, awaits you under the marble of his white deambulatory. He will achieve that which my bandaged sword could not. He will leave you on your knees in the ashes of the holy tree that once burned. He will lay his merciful hand on your forehead, sanctifying the end of your blasphemy. Leave me alone with these lies, with the chimera, the delirium of my own pain. Dang, bro, she's she's sticking to it. You mean her faith. I like the crimson bindings. As mm. ble I'm bleeding out. That's so fun. I love I love the dialogue here with fully voice acted. By the way, it's the way it should be. The way it should be. The way it should be. Look, I oops, oh, he found ooh. A, oops, he found an item. <laughs> Wait, you didn't do that on purpose? That's so no. funny. <laughs> something I just didn't know it was there, and I was like, oh, nice. well, convenient. Time. So here's Time where we screwed up. Okay. This is why we can't get the DLC ending. Because if oh. we had got the DLC, or if we did this in here, we would have got the DLC ending, and. When we were supposed to do it at a specific time. Before we finished the game. Uh, uh, yes, and I think we might have had to do it a certain Wait, that doesn't make sense because people d beat the game already by the time the DLC came out. Uh, this might have been part of the DLC. We had to put the golden eyeballs in here. Oh, what, what did we Remember do? Remember the golden them? eyeballs from the yeah. snake? What did we, we do get with them? The snake was part of the DLC, and the gold right. other golden eyeball was from the... Uh, oh, that's hella lame. Why can't yeah. we just do it now? Duh, because we already beat the game. So it, it uh, shut but, it up. But most I people know. would have beaten the game. So they had to start a new game when the DLC New Game came Plus. Out? Yeah, oh, you would have had New Game Plus God. it. Or, no, sorry. It might have just been you've been able to do it because he might not have been here. It's kind of like a Souls game where you, uh, at least with Elden Ring right now, like, you have to go to this very specific place and enter to that place to do this. I don't know how this game worked in that manner, but um, right, you would you have must, still but, have beaten the game at that point. Though. But like morning, uh, morning and havoc wouldn't have been a place. I don't think. I don't think morning oh. and havoc was part of it. And if it was, the snake boss wasn't there. Interesting. Yeah. Well, that's lame. Yeah, I, I was I, I kind of realized that after the fact, and I'm like, oh no, because if you do, because I that, remember you saying like, oh, I think we should do something with the golden eyes, and, and then we both just dropped the ball and forgot what we had to do with it. Um, I uh, so it's before you fight Chrysanthem, that woman. Mm, oh, because you've already set her gameplay state. Okay. Correct. So uh -huh. if you do those, the eyeball thing before you go to her, she helps you fight the boss instead of fighting you mm. yeah and then so you end up fighting that boss she ends up helping and protecting you and then you get the dlc ending from there which is wild oh man it, does it set up for blast two no i do not believe so okay uh, but if does you're that watching, make sense if you're watching this go look up the dlc ending because it is banana pants or or play the game and get it yourself <laughs> or do Hold that on. don't Hold yeah well i'm just but saying if we if advocate for gameplay here on the true. channel oh, okay. calm down <laughs> <laughs> like part of me wants to go through and play this all again just to get it but that is so much gameplay for that's that. a lot so with the new game plus do you have all the items then I mm, you should. You should have okay. all the games. So I could technically. So you don't just... have to do all the quests. You just have to like boss. There's a boss rush at this point, isn't it? Uh, pretty much, yeah. Okay, okay. That could be an interesting. Padre, don't don't comment on that. I don't want to boss rush it. <laughs> <laughs> You've acquired a seashell of inverted but spiral. Like, for a lot of things like that, the lightning angel person that was that that we didn't get to fight. Mm -hmm. uh, I could end up fighting that person again. Nick, what? Are you sure you don't have to just equip the golden eyes? Oh, you can't equip those. 
No, these are just items. Yeah. Oh, you have bullshit. you have to put them in that in that tree. This is bullshit. Yeah, I, d- dude. I when I when I saw it and I went there and I was like, no answer. No, no. I was so mad. I was so sad. So, like all this time we went through all of this and we screwed oh, it up. My God. Okay, so here's where I give a lot more money. More time. Maybe not. <laughs> I leave. Okay. I do come back and do this. Eventually. Oh, oh so there was a couple paintings on the wall. See, a couple paintings mm-hmm. have been oh, yeah, adorned well, on the nice, wall. Nice. We got some. We're doing some patronins to the uh, artis- artisans. Takes forever to. This is when I think I started looking up what, how much gets me the next thing. Right. Because you can't just like dump it all in there. You have to like dump the amount and go out. No, I, you can. Oh, 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 <laughs> I find oh, that oh. out later. <laughs> I find that out later that like, because I knew 5,000 gave you a, a certain thing that noise denotes that. Oh, the whoa, 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 whoa. That's yeah. Cool. But it says once you've reached 100,000 or something like that, um, you get the 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 ability to fast travel to each of the bonfires. So like that showed up now. Oh hey, and there's a dude. Yeah. Thirty three dollars. <laughs> That's a perfect amount. <laughs> I think this is when I look up what uh, I, yeah. had to, I had it open. Yeah, this is like a director's commentary or something. It really is this <laughs> director's commentary on a video game. Perfect. I love it. I like this. I like this. So you look at this place now. Now that I've given Whoa. all the money, like it's crazy that they, how the, <laughs> and they don't even appreciate your patronage. <laughs> Come on, I don't have no more money to give. I don't have no more. You've taken it all. You <laughs> taken it all. <laughs> it's all gone. Um, I believe in oh, I got oh, a token, token appreciation. appreciation. Yeah, nice. just an ordinary marble. Still don't have that last rosary slot. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think you get it from here, but I think I was supposed to get it at a point, a money denomination, and I never got it. Right. And I don't know what the criteria was. I, I thought I knew that what the criteria was. It was like seven thousand dollars, but I gave eighteen, and I don't know why I didn't get it. And I think this, yeah, this starts happening Whoa, when you start t- giving hell? tithings. Yeah, when you give tithings, the the these things grow bigger. Oh wow, we just like screwed our- oh, Wow, we could teleport now. Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh my I, I God. really wish. Oh my God. <laughs> All this time <laughs> running to each place. Oh, that's the that's the first thing I'm telling anybody that's picking up this game. Just pay their uh, tithes, man. Yeah. Pay attack this. <laughs> this is the stuff that I want to take into our Metroid playthrough where you're gonna help me learn how to play video games. Yeah. <laughs> Not let me make mistakes like that. Oh no! Yeah, I'm probably gonna end up year old game, taking notes and stuff to like. Yeah, um, yeah. Teach me, teach is. me how to complete a game. All right. So now that I did all that stuff, okay, I optioned to go back up and fight the boss in hopes that the things that I did would give me the good ending. Right. And I, this is you weren't here for this. No. So, fingers were crossed. Oh, one more hit. Two more hits. Bam. So, I, I, I know I told you, but here, if you end up getting the DLC ending, mm-hmm. or if you go through the DLC ending, you end up fighting the red guy. The Goomba his, Blasphema! <laughs> his uh his red form whatever that is the mm. his true form gross right. guy with no skin yucky all right so here's the the, here's the, the hill of ash from the tree that once burned <laughs> this was i'm still questioning what's about to happen here because obviously it's, it's the same it's all the same right now yeah you have freed his holiness from his afflicted torment and now he walks by the old processions on the other side of the dream. The cradle of the grievous miracle, the final relic. 
the grail of blood and gold that emanated from the forehead of the father as he silently lamented the moment of his blessed twisting. That first relic is here, at the top of the Ashen Mountain, next to the Turn Throne, where His Holiness was kissed by a miraculous pain. And now, your final communion with the miracle awaits. God, I love Only the dialogue. You would be able to know how much of it has seeped into your gift. Seeped into my guilty heart. Let's go. Let's go. And then I started noticing I'm well, not, I'm not thinking. thinking. There's no guilt. I'm not weighed down. <laughs> I've achieved penance. <laughs> Dang, right on the throw. Okay. Okay. It's big. No. Yeah, the trophy. <laughs> Did you drop the sword? Okay. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting that either. Okay. Are we now the Mia Culpa? Tree roots have taken in, set in. Okay. Oh, another prison made on top of the heap. Those are disciples. Nice. Oh, they moved us. That's crazy. The pilgrimage. The pilgrimage. <laughs> to the other side of the dream. No, I think we're just, we are, we are the new Elden Lord, <laughs> the new oh, Blasphemer. <laughs> where there's like body parts. Wrong game, of... wrong game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and thus came the moment of final communion with the sword born of guilt. A last sacrifice in order to finish penance and break off with the ungodly will of the grievous miracle. But the plans of the miracle are capricious. Penance never ends, but changes, hurts, and condemns at will. There is no place for the penitent one on the other side of the dream. His place is here among us. There you go, that answers your question. Mm -hmm. It's the new father and the last son of the miracle. Recipient of our I'm prayers. Fathers. <laughs> Forever and Forever ever. and ever. Never. <laughs> yeah, so I guess it's like that Jesus sacrifice kind of like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> Ending Pretty to, I, I also really do like the, the title like the, the, the font yeah. that they mm -hmm. designed for this yeah damn they were cooking in the game kitchen <laughs> <laughs> absolutely cook wow what a game what a game yeah. and like again i wanted to, and i was like nope we're not watching through that credit se sequence again we we, we did watch through it <laughs> four hours long i had to speed it and up thus oh. shall your name be erased under the heavens wait she didn't die Leave it be, chick. <laughs> so. Oh, my God. Looks like we so I guess that sets up for number two, baby. Yeah. So and then I, I decided to look at the percentage and we got 98.86. So infuriating. Oh, my God. That makes that makes my. So I'm drift apart. Oh, <laughs> mercy. 41, 41 hours. So I'm wondering is if I put the eyeballs in, does me putting the eyeballs in give me 99%? And does that big, give me 98.6%? Yeah. Like, like that, that would drive me insane. I mean, this is already driving me insane because I'm so close, but I can't finish it. I, oh. I mean, there might be a couple like percentage things I could pick up here and there that I missed. Oh, no. But the fact that I'm so close, I can't they wrap it up. Oh. the game again. 
I might have to. Maybe I'll do no, it. No, no, no. But maybe I'll do it as a side thing. I don't know. Project. <laughs> but we also have other games to play. So, yes, we do have other games to play in the Poser series where we play through quintessential video games. Thank you, Nick, for playing along um, and, and going the extra mile. Absolutely. Like he does with all of his things yeah. on Fire Hazard 508 Creations, where he makes play things into display things. Um, we appreciate you uh riding the ride with us and we'll see you in the next game bye bye